at this point in time, we're ready to scan. Uh, the foot pedal is wireless, so it's movable. The machine can be moved from any point in time. Uh, as I showed you, there's the disposable sleeves, uh, which are single use. So these uh, are simply replaced for patients. The rest of the hand pieces can be wiped down with alcohol. Uh, at this point in time, we're ready to scan. So, uh, 45 degrees, 27. In this particular, the way Dr. Goldstein has it set up, is she's scanning the opposing arch first. So what that means is generally the problem applies anesthesia. While the patient's numbing out, they can go in and do the opposing arch scan. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start the scan procedure. Uh, you want to you want to work it in, and it's asking you for a 45 degree angle of tooth number 27. So a 45 degree angle, what that means is I want to capture uh, some of the buccal surface, and I want to capture some of the occlusal surface. So that's perfectly aligned right there. Uh, 45 degrees. So then it's going to move me to the next scan. And it's actually very forgiving because the camera will actually pick up anything in the, in the screen. And the laser, does it adjust automatically or manually? Yes, that's the, the, again the biggest uh, advantage to our system. What you'll notice is I'm touching the tooth, touching the camera to the, to the tooth. So what that does is it provides the dents the ability to have a stable shot. A lot of cameras that don't have a focal, uh, that ability, they end up having to hover over the top of two surfaces. But if you look at the screen, it's kind of challenging, especially in your, if you're in the mouth, to kind of find that focal range. With our technology, you simply bring it in, you uh, rest it right over to extremely stable shot, captures the image. And if there is a missile component in the teeth or in the neighboring teeth, does it interfere with the laser? No. Uh, again, we can control, we take different colors under the spectrum of light, as you see here, uh, the, the different colors, we'll, we'll also read under different colors, we'll also read at different focal depths. So there you can see we've scanned the opposing arch, uh, and now we're going to continue. So now, now is when he's pulled his cord, uh, this is the most critical shot. So what he wants to see here is that he's captured a clear shot of the margin, he's got no blood, moisture, or tissue over top. At this point, if he did see something that he didn't like, he could retake it. It's always going to stop him at this time. But what's nice is you can use air because you don't have to worry about the powder. Uh, you can simply uh, blow it away with air. If you really have excessive bleeding, you can use astringent or anticoagulants to stop the bleeding. Uh, but really, it's most important here because uh, that's what's going to establish the margin. So then we'll continue, and then we simply uh, go through the prompts. We're going to take a few extra shots of each crown, or each preparation. We obviously want more detail here. So this is where I'm capturing the interproximal contact, and this is important as well because obviously the contact is one of the major elements of the fit. Now I'm going to capture the adjacent teeth to build the rest of the model. Now here's the bite registration. The patient bites down to bite centric. We then slide the camera into the cheek. And we line that up so we now we know the patient's biting down. The patient has three five. Take a second one to confirm it. Five is scanning, it is not. And now we're finished. So now what the computer's going to do is going to take all those scans that we've captured and put them together. So first jaw processing is not. What we want to look for here is that we've clearly outlined the larger the finishing line. Uh, and here, this is again where that occlusal reduction grid comes in. So any area in the blue means we've got 2.1 millimeters of clearance. In the orange, we've got about 1.5 millimeters. When we get up into the red, that means we've got under 1.1 millimeters. So when I bring in the opposing arch, you can see here that uh, the doctor can see exactly where he is. He's able to look at the distal lingual cusp of the molars, which is challenging to be able to look at. He can look at it at all 360 degrees and see that he's clearly captured everything. He can even look at the negative uh, of the impression to see what he's used to traditionally looking at. 
So at this point in time, uh, happy with uh, everything that we've got here, uh, you would simply press send and the information goes off to the lab.